Yo, what's going on guys? Apathy back here with another video. I'm so happy to do YouTube videos. I'm so freaking happy. Yeah, I guess, you know, UG South Carolina, you know, makes me, just makes me happy. But I'm, but I'm back here with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a subject. This might be a sensitive subject, but I feel like something has to be said because I feel like credit isn't given to some people. Alright, man, I'm all over the place. And I just feel like it's wrong. But yes, you see, I am using a Vesper. Normally, I don't use this gun anymore. Sometimes in pubs, and maybe like Evac. Evac is the only map I might use this gun on. But other than that, this gun recoil is pretty bad. I'm good at controlling it. You can see I had a pretty decent kill right there. But it's just not the same gun anymore. The main reason why I'm using this gun because it's fun, and because look at that baby. I have the prestige cam on it, even though it doesn't 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 look that good on this gun. Let me meet those two kids right away. So. I'm going to talk about a very sensitive subject and what people like to call them brainless Call of Duty players, brainless, dumb idiot, what are you doing? You have no idea what are you doing, how are you even a pro brainless, you little idiots roasted to the ability of Bolivian, you know you can't even know how to move around the map, idiot. Now that was pretty long, I'm not going to lie, I don't think anyone roasts that much, but I think this is something that needs to be said and something I want to talk about. A lot of you guys know that throughout the years and I'm not like before I start talking about people I want to say throughout the years there has been pretty aggressive crazy players I like to say Zuma as one of them Zuma I remember when he first got into pro scene especially in Ghost we would watch him play Search this man is pushing straight on like hot spots by hot spots I mean spots where usually a player is going to beat with a sniper I mean this man is doing it all this man is a perfect example of what people call brainless idiots or whatever you want to say when in reality, he knows what the fuck he's doing. He's obviously good. He's obviously plays the game a lot. He knows what he's doing. He's playing timing perfectly. And instead of getting credited and being like, holy shit, Jumel's a fucking good player. Like, or holy shit, you're a good ass player. People are like, oh yeah, he's just a brainless idiot. He just runs around and does whatever. No, man. Nobody does whatever. There's always intentions behind 90, I'll say 95% of the time. There's always an intention, right? Like, his intention is to get into a certain spot, or he knows mathematically, you know, alright, there's a 60% rate that this will work, you know, I'm just gonna take my chances and do it. And, you know, we all know what we're doing, for the most part. Like, no one is gonna play this game and say, like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And I feel like, obviously, I'm just gonna say Krim. Krim is a player that attacks a lot of people, he gets very frustrated and angry, and I have nothing against Krim. You know, he's a very talented player, uh, works, he has won many championships, you know, have a lot of respect for Krim, but other than that, like, you know, he can get very frustrated, very mad, and start roasting players, I mean, roasting, making the, make it, like, I, I heard, I heard one day he was roasting Zuma, he started talking about my mom, his mom's pasta, I'm like, yo, you don't mess, you, you, you can roast the man, but don't roast about the man's pasta, and, you know, Zuma wrote that in Skype chat, I'm like, yo, don't worry about it, Zoom, he don't know what he's missing, man, it's all good. But, I mean, like, Krim, Krim has gone pretty personal. He gets very mad. But he's not the only one to do it. There's obviously other players that get very angry and start roasting people. Like, what are you doing? Like, your teammates over there. Like, there is going to be times where some players aren't that talented. And they, do what, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Or they're doing something stupid. It's going to happen time to time. But for the very talented players, for example, like a player like Zuma, I, I believe in him, man. I know he knows what he's doing. You... The whole brainless, you know, you're an idiot, peanut brain, you know the fuck you're doing thing. Like, I mean, I thank God it's not that much of a thing anymore. But even then, people still roast each other. People still talk about it. People people call like, what the fuck are you doing, you dumb idiot? Like, oh my God, you're so dumb. There is times where, I'm not going to sit here and like exaggerate, but there is times where somebody was doing a dumb play or a stupid play. That That's usually the low, I hate using this word. Because what is a low tier pro? And I feel like it's such a bad word to use because it's like roasting. And I don't want to roast anyone. I really don't want to attack anyone's video. I just want to get a point across. But for example, players out of the top 20, let's say, example. You know, some of those players might do sort of dumb plays here and there. You know, they're not perfect. They obviously need work. They might be new to the scene. Whatever the case may be. But other than that, like, I think players of such high caliber, you know, like top 20 players... Uh, all within those top 20, I think most of the 95% of the time, they know what the fuck they're doing. So, I, I feel like instead of roasting them, give them credit. Holy shit, Zuma, that was a good play. Holy shit, Zuma, that was a good flank. Like, it's, 
it, their intentions are obviously something good. Like they're they're not dumb. They're obviously making a good play in their mind. They know what the fuck they're doing. I feel like we shouldn't roast them. We should praise them. We should we should be like, holy shit, that was fucking nice. Give them credit. Like I've seen somebody do a crazy play, right? I don't even like get like a three piece, like a crazy flank three piece, or like hit some crazy three piece, challenge the last guy. While while the chances of the guy other guy thought he was gonna challenge him, you know, it's that's a good play. He knows in his mind. All right, I just got this crazy two piece. I'm one shot. I'm trapped in a corner. My only fucking play is to challenge this guy. Obviously, you know, it's, if he especially takes his time, you know, he's like, I'm gonna take a second or two, heal up at least a little bit, and catch, try to catch him off guard and challenge right away. Pops the three piece. The third guy's like, dude, what an idiot. Why did he challenge? Bro, because that was his best play. Like, people can't be serious, dude. It gets me so mad listening to streams sometimes, or like, when I play other people, like, when they, when like, people are roasting each other. Like, there is times, like I said, where I am gonna agree. It probably was a dumb play, but that is rarely. Most of the time, the, the guy's just mad that he got fucking world starred or outplayed. He's there, bro, it's such a dumb play. Like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Why are you in the spawn? Like, no, man, he knows, like, they know what they're doing, man. And, you know, this is something that I feel like I had to talk about. This is something that's been going for a while. And, you know, I feel like... I'm not, and I'm not trying to point fingers at Krim again, like I said, but I'm better with the Vesper. Don't, don't, fucking. But you know, Krim was a huge person who usually would get mad all the time, and did start that back in the day. I remember in um, AW, and he was one of those guys. But I mean, other than that, you know, I think it's not only Krim though. You know, I mean, Krim's uh, shaping up a little bit, which is good. You know, he's learning how to control his anger. If now, he does it. No, I'm kidding, but um. You know, I think that's a good thing, but overall, uh, you know, it's not only him. It's, uh, there's certain players that do it, and it just goes back to, like, what I said. Like, we should be giving them credit. Like, you don't know what happened, what goes through everyone's mind. You don't know. You're not a fucking mind reader. Like, you like, who do you think you are? Jimmy Neutron with that big-ass head? I mean, that didn't make sense. But my point is, you do not know what goes around people's minds. There's other players that have been playing more than you. There's other paper players who think different than you. Like, and not everyone thinks the same. We all have an idea how to play the game. We all have an idea of what's right, what's wrong. But that doesn't necessarily mean, like, I'm going to play the game exactly how you play. It doesn't mean that I know something more or I know how to play my chances better than you do. And, like, we all have uh, better strengths and different weaknesses, right? We're all different. We're none, of, none of us are perfect. Now, there are players that are almost all around really good. But there's certain players that lack something. So, my point in the end of the day is that, you know, just because someone did something that in your mind is probably considered stupid, doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad play or it's stupid. Okay? That's your opinion. But usually, when that happens, the guy did a good play. Usually. I would say about 90, not 95, 90% of the time, the guy did a good play. And it's just, it's, it's just a people attack that and I hate that and I am one of those players I like to think that gets attacked here and then when I do some crazy plays like I have my plays you know they're they're like shit Apathy I was fucking smart holy shit that was a good play but then I'll have my plays once in a while people be like Apathy like I'll kill two of them they'll be like why did you do that like why did you challenge that bro I'll be like they just don't understand like I know how to play chances I'm confident in my gun skill. Whatever. I'm not going to sit here and talk about that. But, you know, I am a player, one of those players who usually gets attacked. And, I mean, overall, it's just like I said, man. I I just think I just think those players deserve credit. And I think, you know, the pro players, instead of fucking being a raging home, uh, raging loser nerds, I'm trying to think of the best roast without, like, um, you know, talking bad about people. Uh, I think they should just be like, oh, shell is a pretty good play, or be like, what, or like, don't say anything. Black like, in your mind, you know, it's a pretty good play, you know, right. just don't say anything, don't roast there. Because it's all, it's all, all it, what, what's the, what's the situation to see is that people with big following, not, not only from Optic, people with a big following, if you sit there and roast people, they're gonna listen to it and be like, yo, that kid sucks, yo, that kid's an idiot, because they're just gonna follow you, they look up to you. That so I think that's another thing that needs to be taken you know just don't sit there like fucking brewing the other people's careers and shit and reputation either way guys i hope you enjoyed this live com hope you enjoyed this video just a little thing i wanted to talk about uh hope you guys have a great day this has been your boy apathy don't forget to like comment and subscribe of course and i'm out peace